and gentlemen. It is a pleasure to announce the final bow of the evening. As always, I have left the best for the last. Now here on my right, I have the challenger. An upcoming black belt with a great future. He has defeated all comers to take the prestigious Matsura All City Tournament in Los Angeles. And here on my left, I have the rock, which I can say proudly, it is my privilege to provide. Nothing's wrong. I can handle it.
scream. I just remember. George, it's 2.20 in the morning. Good evening, Mrs. Wilson. George. I'm sorry I'm calling you so late, but I was worried about Tony. No, not a word. I will, I promise. Please call me if you hear anything, okay? Good night, Mrs. Wilson. I can't believe you called her so late. She was still up. No, no. I mean, if I give up on the little things that I can do, I mean, what's left? It's $10,000, George. I found it in his room this morning. And... Then I checked his clothes and I found this. He began acting so strange after the tournament. I mean, he kept asking me about the, the operation that I needed and, and, and what it would cost for a new furnace. I mean, foolish stuff like that. And he, he also began spending more and more time on his karate. Always out in the yard, always pushing himself. Then after his lesson with you on Thursday, he disappeared. I mean, he just never came home. Did you call this number? I, I wasn't sure it was a phone number. I wouldn't know what to say. I mean, it's only been a couple of days. But he's missed work and college, and that is not like Tony. So where is he? I don't know. Patient Anthony Wilson, Caucasian, male, age 20. Brain death has been verified as of 9.02 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The deceased organ donor status has been verified by written legal agreement on file here. We shall now proceed with the operation. Today we will be harvesting the heart, right and left kidneys, both corneas, liver and spleen. That's everything that's on this list. Robin. Let's get started.
It's all a matter of taste, right? I mean, one man's porn's another man's Picasso, right? <laughs> what good are kids for anyway, yeah? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, hi, babe. How's it going? Oh, no, honey, don't worry about it, really. It's okay. Just consider it extended foreplay. Huh? Eh? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Okay, shoot. 310-555-3184, right? Okay, I'll see what I can do. And don't worry. See you at dinner. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't more help. Look, what can I say? Well, the phone was disconnected. You found that out. And the person who subscribed to the service used a phony ID. And there were just no long-distance outgoing calls made. There's just no way to trace something like that. I'm sorry. Look, honey, he's only been gone a few days. You know, he'll probably still turn up. <laughs> he'll pop back tomorrow or the next day with his sheepish grin and bow-legged as a tomcat and hickeys all over his neck, right? Right? You may be right, Sarah. But I didn't tell you everything. What? Mrs. Wilson found an envelope Tony had hidden. There was ten thousand dollars in it. Jesus, ten grand? Where would a kid like Tony get that kind of money? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. I'm afraid to involve the police, George. I know he must be up to no good with all this money. Okay, Mrs. Wilson, I'll find him. Tell me, do you still have the envelope? Yes, it's right here. There's a logo of some kind. Let me see. Uh, well, it's the kind of design you, you see on playing cards. You know, uh, an upside-down heart that is black with a little stem. A spade. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. That's it. I have it. I'll talk to you soon, Mrs. Wilson. Bye. What are you doing, George? Are you trying to play cop? Honey, think. How could a kid like Tony get that kind of money? You know, I hate to say it, but it sounds as if your prize pupil's gotten involved into drugs. How can you even think that, Sarah? Tony's an athlete, a champion. Yeah, but you said his mom needed an operation. Maybe he was feeling desperate. That doesn't mean you have to go out and find him yourself. Don't tell me what I have to do, Sarah. Sit down. Sit down, Mr. Uh, Kondorsky. What can I do for you today? I have something valuable to deliver. Sure, that's no problem. Mr. Kondorsky, all my couriers are bonded, fully insured, and we'll deliver anything. No questions asked if you get my drift. Your valuables are safe with us, no matter what they may be. Even a human life? Huh? A human life, Mr. Spade. I'm afraid I don't know what you're getting at. This is your logo. So? So, one of my students is missing. He found this hidden in his room. I want to know who sent it. <laughs> I can't tell you that. You better tell me now. Hey! All right. You'll have to check the dispatch log out back. Just go down the hall here and ask for Danny. Tell him I said you could take a look. Uh 
Okay. Okay, thanks. Good luck. Oh, you are very beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you. I think we should go out on a date. Oh, yeah? Well, when, when do you want to go? Where do I want to go? When do I want to go? I want to go right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we should wait till tonight. No, no. I think we should go right now. How are you, Ben? I don't know. Who wants to know? My name is George Vendosky. I need some information. Oh, yeah? And what might that be? I need to find out who sent a letter to a friend of mine. Why? Spade said to help me. So stop fucking. Fuck you, man. Okay, all right. All right. Where was the delivery going to? Funny Wilson on Gretton Street. How long ago? A bit. Maybe two. Right. Follow me. I think I know. Yeah. Okay, here it is. I picked up the letter. Don't and tell him a goddamn thing. Don't be in such a hurry, Mr. Pindorsky. We're going to teach you some American manners. Don't you stand there! Do something, goddammit! I see. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. For everything. You deserve it. When did the gladiators fight again? The last was so exciting. Oh, not as exciting as you. 
We can have the next to fall as well. I presume I should reserve that for your same seat. Senator, Mr. Hodgkin, I hope you enjoy my little fed. As always, Lester Verdugo. Amazing, simply amazing. Uh huh. All right. Bring up plate first, Senator. Senator, do you mind if I have a little chat with Mr. Hodgkins? You know, it's a little business. Sure, sure. Plenty to keep me entertained right here. Good. a serious question to ask. Could Verdugo still be alive? What do you ask? I think he is involved in the disappearance of one of my students. No, George, he's dead. He was killed years ago running drugs in the Golden Triangle. I know. But now I'm not so sure. He's dead, George. He's a ghost. I don't remain dead. I hope you're right, Master. So we did good this week, huh? The harvest was excellent. No damaged woods to report? No, actually, your brutish gladiators were amazingly efficient. They never ruin anything worth saving. I salute your training regimen. Very precise. Surgically precise. The market is holding up. The prices continue to rise. Well, uh, I guess it's good for all of us. I appreciate your passing the benefits of this inflation. I turned on to me so uh, honestly. My pleasure. Mr. Forrester is here to see you, Master. He says it's important. Bring him in. Sorry to disturb you, Verdugo, but there is a matter of some interest. It shouldn't wait. We were just finishing. By the way, a little deposit for your bank. It'll be delivered in the morning. In two weeks, then? In two weeks. Sit down. Now, what seems to be the problem? A man came by the courier service we use. He was making inquiries about the delivery to the Wilson kid. So? So, Spade blew it. The son of a bitch broke under pressure. He gave your name. Do you know the identity of this man? Pendovsky. George Pendovsky. Pendovsky? You know him? 
I used to know Pendovsky. Long time ago. Hey, look, pal. I said they'd be delivered. I didn't see what kind of shape they'd be in when they got there. Yeah? Will you tell Jack Valentino next time he wants some guns run someplace? He can fucking do it himself. Denied again. Who the hell is this guy? That's what you're supposed to tell me. Look, all I've got is a name. He's a bad guy, I presume. Okay, let me, let me try something else. <laughs> there it is. What is? All I see is the name. Well, sorry, babe. That's about all I can get. <laughs> a name? That's it? <sighs> Everything else is blocked. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> the hell if I know. I... I guess it's a secret file or something. Shit. Hey, maybe he's wanted in another country or other states. Could you kind of check for me? Oh, <laughs> that could take days. Please. All I have is my lunch hour. Well, I could buy you a kosher pastrami on rye every day for a week with a deli dill. You throw in a couple cheese danish, I'm yours. Thank you. You're the best. So when can I have it? It takes as long as it takes, sweetie pie. I mean, I, I'll try to work it in around all this other shit, but uh, it could take a couple days. Uh, depends if we get lucky. <laughs> Four, five, six. Fast a little bit, guys. Come on. One, two, three. Beautiful. Let's see who is the fastest here. One, two, three. A couple more times. One, two. Beautiful. Relax. Excellent, guys. Okay, let's jump a little bit, jump a little bit. Okay, loosen up. You did a great job, guys. I love it. Good. I love it. Okay, relax a little bit. What? We'll be finishing early tonight. Please go. Yeah, you guys better get out of here. Somebody might get hurt. Get the fuck out of here now! You better go. So, guys, what do you want? Nothing important. Just your life. Get out of here! Violence. It's not healthy for children. Why don't you and your playmate find some ice cream? man one day. Go 
Here, a concussion and a broken cheekbone. But we feel that he should make a complete recovery if all goes well. No thanks to you. Nancy, please. Don't patronize me, Stephen. We entrusted our little boy to this man, the so-called master of karate. One of the top in the world, he told us. But he can't even protect a 13-year-old boy. He was trying to protect me. Excuse me, but I don't think that this discussion is in the best interest of the patient. You have to realize that even unconscious, his mind records everything. So, if you two have a disagreement, perhaps you ought to take it outside. No, I won't leave my boy. There is no disagreement. We're both so sorry this has happened. I'm Detective Sarah Douglas from the LAPD, and we're already investigating. Mr. Kandowski? I wanted to talk with you. You know my name? It was on the accident report. Um, I just wanted to tell you that I couldn't help but notice how upset you were, and I really hate to see anyone punish themselves like that. It was my mistake. I failed here. Well, then... If you need anything, don't hesitate to call. George, wait. What did you find out, Sarah? About Verdugo? Larry's running a check right now for me. It's so far nothing. What is it, George? Do you know this man? Yes. Who is he? He was a master, a world champion, but he was crazy. What do you mean? He liked to hurt people. You could see the pleasure on his face when he heard an opponent's bone snap. They banned him from competition after he... What, George? His last fight. He tore off the man's ears and held them up to the crowd. Oh my God, like a trophy. I've got to find him. No, George, just wait. Just let me check him out first. He may not be the same Verdugo. He's the same one, Sarah. Okay, but you're not a cop, George. Yes, you're a great karate fighter, the best, but why can't you just let the police handle this? He's my problem.
I owe that to Tony and to John. Yeah, well, you owe it to me, too. I love you. And I'm afraid for you. We're supposed to get married next month. Yes. So don't you dare fucking get yourself killed. Wait. Just to get the information, okay? Okay. But just for information. And you'll tell me everything you find out. Do you promise? I promise. Okay. Now will you do that again? Yes. So, what have you got for me? Why don't you come into the back room and I'll show you. Well, shut up, Larry. Come on. <laughs> Where's my pastrami and rye and cheesecake? Cheese Danish. Oh, yeah. Now give. Well... It seems your man Verdugo was involved in a child porn and prostitution ring down in South America. Shit. Nice guy, huh? And he served three years in a Mexican federal prison on two counts of voluntary manslaughter. It happened during a bar brawl. Now, you may find this particularly interesting. One of the participants in that brawl, who later served as a prosecution witness against Verdugo, was a man named Pendofsky. George? Yeah. He was apparently the one who stopped Verdugo from further mayhem. Uh, he sliced open Verdugo's face with a broken beer bottle. The police let George go. They listed it as self-defense. Jesus, Larry. He never told me this. So, how are you, Sensei? I'm fine, George. Fine. How's the boy? He has a concussion, but he'll be all right. It's Tony I really worry about. Look, George. About Verdugo. Tell me everything you know about Verdugo. Okay. I know Tony disappeared a few days ago. He got a letter with $10,000 in it. I link Verdugo to that letter. Judge. 
If Verdugo is alive, someone's gonna have to stop him. I have to find him first. And what are you gonna do if you find him? Kill him. Go against everything I ever taught you. I have to. I'm ashamed of you. All the years of my teaching. And this is what it's come to. Huh? Look at me. What do you have to say? I don't know what to do. You use your skills. You outthink them. How? Remember what I taught you. He who makes the first move is defeated. You use his force against him. You flow with it. And don't ever let your hatred block your clarity. Good, you do remember what I taught you. Thank you, Master. Remember, Judge, I'm always here for you if you need me. Excuse me. I just wanted to talk to you. I heard what you said in there to Sensei Doug. You know something? Yeah, maybe. Can we go somewhere else to talk? Are you involved in something that you don't want your Sensei to know about? No, not really. Something you might not like. Let's talk. So like I said, after I win the meet, some guy approaches me, offers me to fight in some sort of private tournament for money, big money. $50,000 if I win, 10 when I sign up. Last Saturday? Yeah. Was his name Verdugo? No, no, he said his name was Makuto, but he represented the guy who put the tournaments on. So that's it? No. There's more. See, about a year ago, I moved up here from up north. My best friend Kenny was going to come along. I mean, all he told me is that he, he got invited to fight in some sort of secret private tournament. I never heard from him after that. This tournament is one you never come back from, Gary. It's an invitation to die. Did that man give you a business card? Yeah, but I mean, I mean, all it had on it was a phone number. Do you still have it? Yeah. It's back home on my desk. This, call this guy no. and tell him you've decided to do it. No way, man. I'm sorry. But I'm staying as far away from those guys as possible. Don't worry, Gary. I'll be right there with you. I've got to find this man, Gary. I've got to stop him. And you are my only link. Yeah, well, what then? I mean, this is a fight to the death. You told me so yourself. I don't know. I'll think of something. I need your help, Gary. You and me. Together. Together. For Kenny and Tony.
Mister. Come on, come on. You always expect the unexpected, Judge. Doctor, uh... Kramer. Uh, Judith? I didn't know that you were a member here. Yes, for a long time. I would like to thank you for everything you've done for John. You're very welcome. Are you going to work out? I just finished. But, um... I was wondering if you'd like to go for a drink or something. I... Better not. Well, maybe another time. Is she in good shape? Very. <laughs> yeah. You wanna fuck him?
Why'd you come by? I was coming home soon. Well, that's friendly. I need to know what's going on here, George. You found out something, didn't you, about Verdugo? I told you I would let you know if I did. <laughs> yeah, well then what is all of this? What are you doing here? I never see you anymore. This is two weeks before our wedding. I feel more like a widow than a bride. I don't even know if you love me anymore. Nothing like being on time. Let's go, gentlemen. Don't you look pretty, eh? You don't look so fucking tough. <laughs> Let's cut this crap out. Get in the car. What about dumbass? Already got me one asshole. <laughs> Thank you.
Welcome, my friends, to the most rare and delicious pleasure it is my privilege to provide. Welcome to the Battle of the Gladiators! and you'll like it. Great. We'll be inside for the next blood bath. Yeah, we will. Yeah, true. Hey, did either of you guys see the boss's doctor friend show uh, up? Oh, uh, yeah. I'd like to give her a physical. Uh... Hey, check this fuck out. Who the fuck are you? Plus, the gardener. I don't think so. I don't see any fucking leaves. What are you doing with that rake? to fuck around. Where is the ninja master? What? Where do you go, you asshole? Tell me! He's at the end of the hall. That's where they hold all the fights.
here to fight with your pupils, Verdugo! I can't fight you! You hear him from all your friends! Do a fight to the death! Could you excuse me for a moment? Well, of course, Doctor. Thank you. According to my contacts downtown, cops are on the way. Oh, should I shoot motherfuckers? Nah. We ain't fools, that's a battle I can't win. I don't work for no fool. Especially when I can be going in business for myself. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Honey, he's not really going to fight him, is he? Yes, baby. Someone's going to get his ass kicked. No. This isn't on the program.
gonna get donation. God damn it! Sarah! Where's Verdugo? I don't know. But look at this. This letter, these kids with their body organs. That boy is still alive. We have to go get some help. You go. I've got to find Verdugo. No, George, I'm not leaving you. Would you like me to cut his balls off for you now? Do I need to chew them off a little at a time later? After you're married, of course. You bitch! Get my hand on. Secure the other cop to that table. That way she can take care of this boy till help arrives. This boy better be alive. When I get back, bitch, or this organ donor card's gonna have your name on it instead. Calling perimeter patrol, calling perimeter. This is Detective Douglas, come in please. This is perimeter. What's your situation, Detective? I need medics down here ASAP. I got a critical. The boy's already on life support, but it's hard to tell when someone might try and pull the plug. Say what, Douglas? Listen. Petri, just get some medics down here. It's the first room off the hall leading from the north end of the arena, over and out. Let's go. Go.
Verdugo was killed here tonight while attempting to escape from a special task force of the LAPD. Among the who's who of the rich and powerful arrested here tonight on suspicion of complicity to commit murder are U.S. Senator Doherty, Superior Court Judge Harriet Blanchard, international financier and banking magnate Benjamin Forrester, and of course the renowned transplant surgeon Dr. Judith Kramer. Now it appears that Dr. Kramer, along with her business associate Frederick Hodgkins, was in partnership with Mr. Verdugo to sell vital organs harvested from the young men killed in the bizarre gladiator battles. Now this may only be the tip of the iceberg in a highly profitable international black market in human body parts.